ancient prophets looked down, and they described the answer to this seemingly hopeless situation as a marvelous work and a wonder. And I believe the evidence is strong that there, that God led migrations out of Israel and that they, he led them to the promised land of America. This was another exodus uh, of, of sorts. The uh, pilgrims believed it. Columbus believed it. All of yes. them believed mm -hmm. they were completing the journey that Moses started. All of them. Yes. All of them. The early colonists who fled from religious persecution to America, from the north, from England, from Scotland, Ireland, Germany, and so forth, were literal Israelites. The prophet Joseph Smith, who had Puritan, Pilgrim, and Covenanter blood, was partly of Joseph and purely through Ephraim, but he was also partly and purely of Judah. He was the rightful heir in the latter days. They called themselves uh, Israel, and they believed that they were Israel, and they were uh, uh, it was a new chance for Israel. Now when the restoration of the gospel happened, Joseph Smith was very clear. The brethren of the early church were very clear. They were Ephraimites. They were pure Ephraimites. We can find archaeological evidence, even genetic DNA evidence, but mostly prophetic evidence that, that brings Ephraim, amongst other places, to north and, and to west Europe. They wanted one simple thing. They wanted to be able to live their life according to the dictates of their own conscience and be able to serve and worship God the way that they want to do that. And so they came by the millions. Um, it has been estimated that over 62 or 63 million people came just in, in, in a, uh, up till about uh, the early 1900s. And really uh, was has, has the biggest migration of humans in, in, a, in our history of human beings. One of the great scriptural prophecies that has been completely missed in the latter day is the gathering of Israel from the land of the north. I'm not sure how we missed the great migration, but somehow we missed it. Israel, at least in part, has already been found and gathered from the lands of the north. Some of these other prophecies about this that talked about it would be a land of prosperity and security. Um, it says that actually eight different times in the Book of Mormon. It talks about it being a land of liberty eight different times in the Book of Mormon. It says that it would be the land of the New Jerusalem. The Lord prepared a special book, a record that was prepared by a select group of the forefathers of this lost people. Many prophets saw the scattering of Israel in vision. They understood the crisis. And so the Lord gave them a voice, a voice to cry out hundreds of years later, a voice that would resonate with their people, a voice that would awaken a suppressed identity and call these lost children home. 